Good morning guys. Today I'm actually awake early in the morning. I just had to drop off my wife at the train station so I thought what better way to start my day than have an early morning sunrise session here in Mordor. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually in Mordor. But I am in these crazy swamps located right near my house and I thought today would be the perfect day just to have a little nice sunrise session shooting and enjoying being in the nature. But today I actually do want to talk about a really specific topic and that's three ways on how to speed up your editing workflow. I think as filmmakers we all know that feeling of being rushed. We're always in a rush to get the next video out whether it's our YouTube videos or wedding films or videos for a client and oh it's just so tough because you want to do it quickly, but as well, you want to maintain a high quality product. And I know for myself, there's certain aspects of filmmaking and editing that I'm really good at, but there's other areas where I really struggle. Personally, I'm not the best graphic designer, so I really struggle when it comes to titles and graphics in my videos. Yeah, I still try to do it all on my own because I thought, well, if it's not all done by me, then it's not 100% my work. It's like my own ego gets in the way of using other creative resources that are out there to help me make a final better product. And then a few months ago, something happened. I had a really big project with a really tight deadline and I had to do a whole bunch of titles and I thought to myself, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I need to figure out a way that I can make fast titles that look good and they're gonna save me time. And then I went to videohive.com and I started searching. I was Googling animation titles, titles, graphics, all these different products. And after lots of looking, I finally found a pack that I thought, okay, this is gonna be really good for me. And I started using them and I started thinking, what the heck, why haven't I done this before? This has actually helped me save so many hours in the editing process. You know, a lot of times the filmmaking process is quite a solo show. We're often shooting ourselves, editing ourselves, making the project totally ourselves. And there's not a lot of other people to collaborate with. So why wouldn't we use other resources that are out there to collaborate together to make the best final product? For example, if you're not the best at making graphics, buy graphics for someone. Or if you're not the best at making titles, buy a title pack. Or maybe you're not the best at color grading, get into color grading by using other people's LUTs. There's so many resources out there to help you make a final better product and as well to speed up your editing workflow. So that's why using available resources are not only gonna help you speed up your editing workflow, but as well get your final product that's higher quality. So that's why I wanna talk about three different products that I use to speed up my workflow. But first things first, let's get home because it's freezing this morning. Okay, that's a whole lot better. It was really cold this morning here in Finland. I think it was something like two degrees Celsius. Come on, jacket. Ah. All right, that's better. Back in the home studio. So today we're gonna talk about three different resources that have really sped up my editing workflow. So resource number one to actually speed up my editing workflow is actually my brother's very own cinematic motion graphic template. This pack is huge. There's 75 different motion graphs in this package and it's going for $39.99 right now. And I have no shame advertising my brother's products because I actually use them in probably all my videos. It has helped me so much, it has saved me hours when it comes to making titles and different motion graphics in my videos. They're super easy to use. All you gotta do is install them into Premiere, throw them into your timeline, change the text, maybe change the position or the scale right there in Premiere. You don't have to open After Effects. And it's just so quick, so easy, and it really lifts up the quality of your videos to make it that much more professional looking and that much more cinematic. These are the small little details that take your videos from maybe a six or a seven to a nine or a 10 by adding nice cinematic motion graphics to your videos. So if you haven't checked them out, I'll make sure I link them below. You can check them out, $39.99, small price to pay to save hours of time when it comes to motion graphics and titles in your videos. Resource number two that I like to use to speed up my editing workflow is from a filmmaker named Ezra Cohen. Ezra Cohen has a store that is full of different textures, different viewfinders and letterboxes and eight millimeter grains and pretty much anything and everything when it comes to cinematic looking textures. Ezra Cohen has them in his shop. And I have loved using these just to spice up maybe when I'm showing off photos in my video instead of just putting the photo in the video, I like to just, you know, stylize it with some sort of, you know, viewfinder or different kind of textures on top. Or sometimes I like to put little eight millimeter grain on top of the video or on top of the photos. 
And these are just really nice extra touches to take your videos as well from a six to seven to a nine to 10. They make it just that one step better. And Ezra really sells his products for a really reasonable price, so make sure you check them out. I'm sure you guys will love them and be able to use them in your different filmmaking projects. And the third resource I'm using to speed up my editing workflow are my own Cine LUTs. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna throw this out there. But a lot of you guys are constantly messaging me, how do you grade your footage, how are you getting that look in your videos, and really all I'm using every single time are my own Cine LUTs. Obviously you can't just rely on the Cine LUT, but it's a great base grade for your video. So when I'm color grading my videos, I throw on the Cine LUT first, and from there I start making minor tweaks, whether that be changing the white balance to get a little bit more color corrected, add some contrast, maybe throw in a little bit of saturation or take out saturation depending on what kind of look I want. But basically, by having the Cine LUT first, I already have the base grade and then from there, I just need to make some small minor tweaks. And comparing my life of color grading before my Cine LUTs and after, the amount of time I save is insane because before I would every single video start to think, well, what kind of look do I want? Or, you know, I gotta make the grade from scratch. But now I always have different kind of cine LUTs that I can use for different situations as the base grade. And from there, I take them and just make some minor tweaks and right away, I already have a final color graded project. So my cine LUTs have actually helped me so much, even though this is my own resource, but yeah, it helps me a lot. So I thought I'm gonna throw it out there for you guys to check out. So I'm gonna link all these three different resources below in the description. Feel free to check them out. Thank you for supporting my brother, Ezra Cohen, and me. It really helps us filmmakers who do YouTube to have you guys support us by buying our products, you know? It's kind of a win-win situation. Support us and we can put up more material for you guys to constantly be learning more about photography and filmmaking. All right, guys, that's three different resources that I use to speed up my editing workflow. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell button so you're notified about all the latest videos, and comment below about different resources that you guys love. I would love to hear about things that you guys are using to speed up your workflow, and we can even share there and help each other out in our own filmmaking process. All right, guys, have a fantastic week. I'll see you next week. <laughs> I like that, that was like a double salute to you guys. All right, guys, have a great week.